Here once stood a shop full of curiosities, but now in its place is Southampton's newest micropub, but interestingly enough still with the same owner. Yeah, about a year ago I was having a drink in another local pub uh, with a close, very close friend of mine and um, I said that my soul was very tired through having Magic Earth, the hippie shop, because I've had it for 13 years, and should do something else. So I went, like what, should have at a pub and that was it. And the Witch's Brew was launched that evening and then I went through the hideous task of trying to get my head around planning permission, premises licence, fire regulations. It's been a challenge, but every department I've spoken with have been brilliant. I knew I always wanted a very small pub, and I'm also classified as a free house, so I get to choose what beer I have and what ciders I have, and I'm not tied to any particular brewery. I've gone really for local ones first of all. There's a couple that I favour because the, the, the stock is amazing. Always good quality. Uh, they do deliver and the barrels aren't too heavy for me to try and lift up. But I do try and keep it local to start with as I really believe in supporting the local community. No good pub is complete without its own pub dog and this one has two. I have got two. I've got a lovely, lovely Daphne dog. Um, she's almost seven, a uh, border collie. And then I've got my naughty puppy called Giz, or we call her Gazelda actually, when she's been really bad, and she's two. Daphne and Gizzy adore the customers. They love the cuddles. The only downside is that I can't have other dogs in here unless they're assistance dogs, because Daphne will not tolerate other dogs in her space. I've always been very keen and very much an activist in the traditional witchcraft uh, side of things. When I took over Magic Earth 13 years ago, I thought this would be really groovy, and it has been. Not so much on the heavy witchcraft side, but the more fun and productive side of it. Every little pub needs a name that, that's sort of linked with the previous business. Um, there are a couple of other pubs in Southampton. One's called the Butcher's Hook. Actually, they're micro pubs, excuse me. The Butcher's Hook and Bitten Triangle, of course, that was a butcher's shop. And also, there's Overdraft along the road, and that used to be a bank. So it's a play on words. So I thought, well, this used to be a witchy type shop, Witch's Brew. I thought it was perfect. And it's a little bit tongue in cheek. Like I say, everyone's welcome. You come in, you have a nice time, and you leave quietly because I don't want to upset my neighbours. This is Richard Stringer. For That's TV.